Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Last night it was freezing cold, it was minus 21 degrees centigrade and it was really cold, biting cold. Anyway, this morning it's better and let's come back to the video. Today we are going to look at how to descale Breville Barista Express. Now my descale light is on, it's solid on which means it's time to descale. If that light is blinking, it means it's time to clean using the tablet on the potter filter. Now this is different. We are going to descale this machine, that is the internal components of the machine. Now usually I use this, the Breville descale powder. Now some of my viewers, they were asking, can we uh, descale this machine using something else? Because this Breville descaler is no more available. Maybe, I don't know the reason why, but I'm sure they'll bring it back. But at the moment, this is not available. Uh, so is there an alternative? Yes, that's what today's video is about. Now, here is a product called Dargol, which is Swiss Espresso. Now, anything Swiss is expensive, right? <laughs> anyway, this is not that expensive. I think it's around 19 or 20 bucks. You get two descaling solution. Let's have a closer look. This is available in Amazon or eBay or many, many websites. You can get this and this is, how, this is what the product is. It comes with uh, two bottles, so you could use it twice and it's good for all automatic espresso machines or coffee machines. Okay, that's in French. This is a citric acid based descaler solution this is safe to use on all the machines. There is no aftertaste or any issue related to this. This is safe to use. So inside this, it, there is a bot, two bottles of this, 125 ml. Pure citric acid, I guess. <laughs> anyway. And then it comes with a manual and it gives you all the instruction how to use the solution. Now for Breville Best Express all we need to do is follow the descale process and instead of using the descale powder we use this solution. That's the only difference. So I'm going to do this now. The descaling can be done in four to five steps. Uh, first step is to prime the machine, that is change the water and take one liter of water, then add the descaling solution and then put it back so that you're ready there. And second step is to descale the coffee components, that is the group head. And the next step is to descale the steam on and the water dispenser or the hot water dispenser and the fourth step is to repeat the step two and three which is to descale the coffee component and these two components and then the last step is to rinse the whole machine uh, with fresh full tank of water okay let's proceed to the first step uh, first thing make sure this tray is empty now my tray is clean and empty okay there's some water let me discard that otherwise it's clean now I take the water tank carefully lift it up and first thing is remove the the water filter you don't need the water filter for this descale process because you don't want 
any citric acid or any acid to go into the the water filter so keep it aside safely in in a bowl of water that helps now i'm going to discard this water and take fresh filtered water i got exactly one liter one liter of filter water so i'm going to pour this into the the bravel water tank now another thing to notice this doesn't provide how much water to use it just says that follow the machine's instruction manual now as we know the the bravel the scale powder we use one liter of water so that's exactly what i'm following here i took one liter of water and now i'm going to use this solution so let me open it up doesn't have any strong smell anyway so let's use this maybe i should shake it before using Now, after pouring, I, I should mix it, mix the solution well. So I'm using a plastic spoon. That should be good. Now you can put back this water tank. So now your tray is empty and you have the descale solution here all ready to go so now we are done with the priming step the next step is to enter into descale mode so i'm going to switch off the power and to enter into descale mode you press the double cup button and power button together press and hold now you can release how do i confirm that I'm in the descale mode, your power button, your single cup, and both the lights, the clean and the hot water light will be on. That's how I, I can confirm that we have entered into the descale mode successfully. Now, I would like to see the descale solution coming out. I just want to observe the color. So I always use a clear ball so that I can watch. Now, let's begin. Now here, I'm going to descale the coffee component. So in order to do that, just press the single cup button. Now this process will take approximately 25 seconds. So you'll have to wait. Next step is you can descale the, the water dispenser mode. This will take approximately eight seconds. That's done. So switch it off and do the other way, which is the steam one. That may take approximately eight seconds. Now you're done with the descale mode. Uh, the next step is to repeat this process till the tank is empty. So usually it's two times minimum, I would say. Sometimes you may get enough for three, but last time I did, I got only twice. So let's repeat the process. Start with the coffee component. Uh, that's blinking because I didn't switch off the dial here. Now I can press the single cup. That's done, so proceed with the water dispenser again the steam wand now i'm monitoring the water here it's almost that's it 
So I'm going to switch off this. Now let me show you a closer view. Uh, the water tank is right at the minimum level. So I'm going to stop here. Now I can discard the water, the remaining uh, water and then then always you say clean water here i have uh, two liters of clean filter water so i'm going to fill the water tank with that this will be the double double portion of what we took earlier uh, that is one liter this is now two liters now this should be more than enough to run at least four cycles So exactly two liters and my leveler says it's in maximum. So let's use this. Okay, now after installing, we could do the, the next step, which is to run, to rinse the whole component by running the clean water through the coffee component and through the steam one and the water dispenser. Before that, let's have a closer look at this water. Okay, it doesn't look bad. Let me get a close, closer look. It looks a bit brownish color. Uh, with some dirt, I could, I could see it clearly here and there. Uh, anyway, it look, seems like it did a good job, exactly the same as the Breville Descale Powder. Now let's continue the video. Let me discard this water and I'll use the same ball. Now I would like to give a tip here, after descaling, that is after running two cycles of the descaling solution, you are near to the empty line. At that point, I would leave the machine on or off for at least 10 to 15 minutes. That will ensure that the descaling solution, it's, it's properly in the boiler. It will settle well and clean whatever components needed. Uh, so the longer you keep, it's, it's better. Uh, that doesn't mean that you should leave it for very long. That can that may damage, I don't know. So I would say 10, 15 minutes if you leave uh, the machine on or off uh, before you run the clean water, uh, that will be good. Anyway, that's just a tip. The next step is to run clean water. So I got two liters of clean water here. So I do the same descale process, run the coffee component first. Now this will ensure that all the coffee component up to the group head, everything is rinsed with clean water. That's again going to take 25 seconds. And then the water dispenser, around eight seconds. And then the steam wand, eight seconds. So repeat the same process again. Let me discard this water. I see there is something whitish here. I don't know if, you, if it can pick up in the video here. Oops, that's it. <laughs> so it's doing something, I'm glad. So let me discard this water. Okay, now my water tank is almost empty. So I'm going to stop now. I'll discard this, this water. And uh, now you're done with the descale process. How do I confirm that? All I do is just switch off and on. Now the light should disappear. Let's see. Okay. Now my descale light has disappeared. So now I can confirm that I've done the descale process successfully. Um, so I'm going to take the water tank again and I'm going to discard the water and clean it again and run through the cycle one more time just to be sure. Now I clean the tank well, it's empty. Uh, you take the 
water filter back and install it. Now uh, you could, this is the best time to replace the water filter. All you do is just press both the ends together, press it down. That's how you remove it and you can just pinch it and you can replace with a new one. Uh, if you are using a water filter, you don't need to uh, change this very often. Uh, like in my case, I use filtered water, so I don't need to change it very often. Uh, else you need to change every once in three months and then you set the date so that you know when you change next. So let's put it back. That's it. And now I can fill water and use my machine. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And now you know how simple it is to descale this machine. Just follow those four or five steps. Now it is recommended that you descale once in a month or once in two months or whenever the descale light is on. That will ensure that you have a long life for your machine and there won't be any blockage on any of the component. It will run smoothly. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and please consider subscribing to my channel if you are new because I'll be posting more videos about Breville Bash to Express. So stay tuned guys, see you on the next video and bye for now. <music>